Take him, Makai. No, I'm just kidding, this is for a pond restoration. I'm trying to fix my pond, need some new stones. So I figured I'd come down here, take some rocks. I'm gonna name every single one of these rocks, by the way. <laughs> these are not, these boulders cost a lot of money at the store, so. No better way than just dabbing up in your local watering hole. Do we have waterproof cameras out there? That one ain't. <laughs> well, I know that, that's why I was asking. GoPro. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Throw me a bag right here, my car. We might make two trips, buddy. Should have brought two buckets. I would have helped out. I, I should have brought another bucket. I couldn't find my other buckets. I just brought a little. Okay. Goddamn. Good boy, huh? I hope I. This should have helped the boy. That should be the trick. That's a heavy bag of rocks, dude. I didn't think it'd be that heavy, but I'm gonna say that little thing bag right there. I mean, I know it's probably close to 100. I would say probably close to 100 pounds. The only reason I know that is because like picking up like 100 pound dumbbells and stuff like that, being a chunk coach. You know, but what's crazy is that I put a YouTube short up the other day. Uh, you guys probably seen it of me catching a bluegill with my bare hands. Um, YouTube sent me an email, and I don't understand why that I went against community guidelines, and that they put an age restriction on me on my YouTube short for catching that bluegill with my bare hands. And I don't really understand why. I don't know if you guys could let me know down in the comments down below. I have no no idea why. But uh, kind of made me mad a little bit because I didn't think I did anything wrong. And I had no idea I was harming anything. Because I didn't harm the fish. I put, literally put them back in the water. Um, I just picked them up with my hands. And, and uh, People do videos of noodling all the time. I don't think they're age restricted. But uh, it's whatever. I just want to know why. I don't know if you guys can clarify that for me. Because like I said, I don't really know the guidelines. I don't read the whole handbook, the whole book. I kind of just film what I do and I just put it up for you guys. I made some big boy moves the other day. Um, I'm not bragging about this, but I did fire my manufacturers for Pineside Clothing, um, and we just rehired a new company. So um, be on the lookout. We have the, they're going to send me out the gear that they've finished working that they've been working on for three months or whatever now, because they obviously don't know how to freaking do anything right. I'm not going to mention any names, but I can tell you that the new company that I'm working with does have my new stuff that I planned out and it's gonna be available in July. So this stuff's gonna start ramping up, guys. This company's real good. I like the vibe that they're giving me and uh, I'm just gonna be pushing out a lot of content for, or a lot of clothing for you guys to uh, enjoy and love because I can only put out the best stuff for you guys because you guys are awesome and support us like crazy. Me and Makai out here, uh, we're gonna we're gonna attempt to fish a little bit. Um, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms soon. It's about 90 degrees right now, it's hot as hell. I don't know, we might have to like wait in the water or something like waist deep or something to cool off. We might, have to, we might have to go swimming instead of fishing. I don't really know. It's it's like dog hot out here. Like, I ain't even lying. And it's only, it's not even noon yet. It's not even the hottest part of the day. So that's the problem. It's not the hottest part of the day. And, uh, I mean, I don't mind the heat. But, like, the fish don't really bite in the hot heat. So, I mean, they do, but it don't. Not around here. Anyways, so, we're going to try it out. I can't make any promises. Um, can't make any promises if I'm going to have any fish caught on this video. I just wanted to actually show you guys a little bit of what I was doing because I told you guys we were doing a little restoration on my pond and this is the first step. I'm actually going to go show you what I need to go fix up on my pond and then, um, yeah, we'll go out in the water or something for a little bit. It's pretty much what I have to do here is I got some stones, so I'm going to stack them. i got to get more, but I just grab what I can grab. I got to basically all this stuff fell apart so I gotta put stone here and I'm gonna fill this whole middle spillway down with st big rock big stone I'm gonna seal it all in and then uh, the new mulch is coming in um, next week so I'll be laying all this mulch down in here getting all ready for and then I'm gonna put some more fish in here uh, we got we used to have three koi in here and we got some goldfish but um, a couple of the of herring came around and scooped one of them out of there so I actually gonna get a couple more baby koi 
pop them in there and then, uh, you know, have a nice little ecosystem in here again. You get the same rocking again. We'll clean up around here. I mean, you know, like I said, the wintertime over the years beats the, beats the hell out of the pond. So get those nice rocks in there and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I think it'd be cool. I think uh, get this thing running again, functioning. And, uh, oh, yeah, I got to get a bigger filter, too, because it just needs a bigger filter. Oh, yeah. You ever see, nice like, Castaway? Uh -huh. This Wilson. See? Finally found some shade though, so it's actually this spot's actually not too bad. It's like it's hot outside, but the shade's actually like cool me off. So that's that's always a positive. But yeah, we just got down here and um and there's a lot of bluegill beds. Um, I'm looking I'm thinking about moving down that way a little bit. It looks like there might be some juice down there, so we're gonna go figure it out. And Yes, sir. Dude, he was just holding on to it. That's too cool behind The defense. <laughs> you good? Okay. Yeah, let me get this there. Go camera. So we just popped up on that nice bass right there. I don't know, I didn't have my scale, but I'm gonna say he's probably about two and a half pounds. Um, nice little bank bass for sure. But yeah, I don't know, I'm gonna go keep testing these waters out and um, trying to catch these fish. I don't know. Let's have some fun, man. I'm just out here just doing my thing, living life. And uh, rocking that uh, fresh pine side gear, because you guys know I like to keep it fresh for you guys. So my whole goal for the rest of this video is to try and get Makai on a bass. Um, that's our goal. That's our agenda. I'm gonna try and put him on the bass, not me. We just we just trying to get him, uh, you know, feeling 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 good, feeling confident. Once you catch that, get that one in your belt, then uh, you know, it's game over. Everyone knows that. What the heck? I got like this just fishing string on my dang leg. What is this? Dude, it's not even string. It's like plastic. Ah. I don't know what it is, but we're gonna try and get Makai on a bass. We're gonna move down. Yeah, I don't know if we can get over there though, right? I think we have to drive there because I think it's all marshy right there. I'm not stepping through all that nasty shit. Right. Me and that fish went to war. He was bleeding a little bit. I don't know where he was bleeding from because uh, like he was barely hooked. Honestly, he was just biting down on the hook. He was holding on to it. I did a horrible side job of setting the hook, I guess. I don't really know. We got him in though, or maybe he came. I don't really know, honestly. But all I know is got some blood on the shirt. Uh, should come out. That's what the pine size shirts are made for, man. Get fish blood on them, and it uh, comes right out, guys. So definitely, definitely, definitely highly recommend copping up on these pine size shirts. Go over to this other location. Same lake, just we gotta kind of drive to it because the other side, the spot we'd have to walk through is real marshy, so we couldn't really 
get the job done by just walking through there because we've been like in some like nasty muck ass water and toe splitters on and all but I'm just not about just walking through some like thick black nasty smelling like horse manure looking muck so we're going to just drive over there it's literally right here just gotta turn around but yeah we're gonna get back after we're gonna, we're gonna get Makai on a bass that's the goal today so if you guys want to get to see Makai get on a bass Give this video a like, thumbs up, whatever it is. Comment down below, Team Makai. Because uh, Makai deserves to catch a bass, man. He's down here every single time when we filming. And, but yeah, well, you caught that one fish that one day. Yeah, but, that, it was. yeah I don't even know. I think it was a, uh, a, per a white perch. Could be, yeah, I think it was, yeah, it was a white perch. So, um, it wasn't, wasn't a bad. Wasn't anything crazy, but you know, we got him on a nice setup today, so hopefully he gets up on one. I'll be hyped. And uh, I'll be his cameraman once he catches one, for sure. Yeah, so we're gonna wrap this video up. I just wanna talk about, uh, we had a game wardens came down, and uh, they, were, they were cool dudes, real, real nice guys. Guys, uh, you know, just make sure you guys always have your paperwork. You know, fortunately we had our paperwork, so we were all squared away. Uh, there was no issues, but you know, they're checking out. Apparently, I'm not a lot of fish for bass right now. And yeah, he told me that, and I was like, okay, I didn't, I really, I mean, I was fishing for bass, but at the same time, it was like, if you could be fishing for walleye and catch a bass, it's about the same tackle and all that stuff. So, because he said, you you know, you shouldn't be catching them on, you know, spot fishing them on the beds because, you know, they're on their beds and they're mating and stuff like that. And everyone knows that's the best time of the year to catch them. So, why not fish them? But, yeah, apparently, I don't know, I guess in Pennsylvania, I didn't know. You're really not supposed to bass fish right now. But he got was cool about it. You know, he no problems. You know, so good luck. Uh, we talked for fishing for a little bit and then that was it. We went about our day. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna wrap this video up. It's dog hot. I need to get some food, get a shower, you know, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, guys, don't forget that merch drop is coming um, sometime, probably mid late June. And uh, stay tuned, guys, cause for the next video. And uh, yeah, don't forget to smash that subscribe button down below if you guys are new or reoccurring fans that, or people or whoever and have not subscribed to the channel yet. I definitely greatly appreciate that. And. Uh, I'll see you guys next time on an episode of Hindsight Adventures. Peace. Hold that, bro. Just put him in the yak. I want to swim up. No, you're good. Push, push. He hooked in there. He hooked in there. I'm going to let him work. This boat, was it a crappie? That's a, that's a nice boy. Finally got one on a, on a, on a hook. Phil, <laughs> be doing our thing.